to the Dr. Hutch Show. I'm Dr. J.L. Hutchison, your host of the Dr. Hutch Show. Plan for Impact, brought to you by Christian Crown Ministries on 1220 Beyond the Word. And my co-host, Evangelist Elaine P. Jones. Today, we're going to give you something that God has put on our heart to deliver to you. And the word that we give you today, our message is... Welcome, welcome, uh, welcome to 1220 Beyond the Word. I'm Dr. Hutchison. I thank you very much for joining us this evening. Today, our topic is you have superpowers. Whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> you have superpowers. And that's very important that you understand that and I want to communicate that with you to you today. Um, had a fantastic week. I, I do my other show is called the uh, the uh, Uninvited uh, Life Coach, where basically that's on 1220 Beyond the Word, one of my shows that I do five days out of the week. Uh, I usually come on in the afternoon just before uh, one o'clock, and I talk about helping you become successful, pumping you up, not just pumping you up, but giving you direction of where you need to go. And this week we had talked about power, control and money, you know, and in the reverse of it, I'm going to talk about faith, hope and love today in regards to you have superpowers and these are the superpowers that you have as Christians. We have this faith and hope and and these things. I'm going to explain to you why is it is so important. But I'm going to I'm going to give you a story, not just a story, but I'm going to give you an understanding. This is we'll be going to break it down. So into simple terms and simple analysis so, so that we can understand what I'm saying is I'm taking something that is difficult to explain and trying to explain it in the simplest way of being simplistic. Um, I was walking this evening and I usually go for a walk. And as, as I was walking, I was uh, noticed it's, it's a lot of leaves that are on the ground right now. And I was like, whoa, the leaves are on the ground. And um, I, I see the leaves are on the ground and I'm like, wait a minute, this is a, a change, a change of the season. It's a, what is what is going on? Then when you see leaves uh, falling down on the on the ground, you know, it lets you know that the season is changing. The season is changing and I want you to understand as the season change we're like the trees <laughs> let me let me let me let me break this down to be to be simple so when you see that when the winter approaches um, far as part of the earth receives less sunlight so as it receives less sunlight the air grows colder so as it grows colder when the uh when it change when this change happened, trees are preparing for the winter, and as they prepare for the winter, trees drop their leaves, and what they do, things that we don't even see or notice, the leaves they seal up the spots where the leaves were attached to. Then the fluids cannot flow in or out of the leaves, which change the color in the fall so the leaves have water going in and out of the tree that's why you have those you look at a, a leaf you see those little vessels that's like little blood veins but water goes in and out and feeding the tree as it feeds the tree the falling of the leaves does more than just mark the season it also helps the tree survive the cold, dry air of the winter. The warm season leaves you sunlight 
water and the air to make the trees food. For in the in that process, the trees loses a lot of water through the tiny little holes in the leaves. In the winter, the trees does not get enough water to replace what it has lost through the leaves. So that's why the leaves fall off. If the tree did not seal the spots where the leaves grow, it would die. And when the spring brings warm air and fresh water, the tree will sprout with new leaves and start to grow again that's like us all year here we are in October all year we have been going through a lot of different things different troubles different trials and tribulations and all that has weighed upon us and as it has weighed upon us we have found ourselves in a state of mind where faith becomes a very important thing in our life. Hope and love is so important. Those are the three things. I want to get I want to get you back to to tap into this power. Some people out there may be struggling with some things, some decisions that you made earlier this year. Some decisions that you made last year, probably some decisions that you made last week or a couple weeks ago or thinking or pending on a decision that you need to make. God has the superpowers for you. See, the thing is, is when I was talking to earlier this week, I was telling people about the power and having control and you'll get the money. You get what you need. But to you as brothers and sisters, Christian brothers and sisters, I'm talking about faith, hope, and love. And it all is attached to one thing, is the power of God. Let's look at it. Let me let me let me look at it from from scripture. Let me let me let me go to scripture and and share something with you. And first Corinthians. Right. Uh, Chapter chapter 13. But I also was looking in chapter chapter 12 because God gives us a whole bunch of things. He says, "Okay, chapter 12, let's start off with chapter 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away with these dumb idols. However, you how how however you were led. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the spirit of God calls Jesus a curse and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are. There are diversities. Of gifts. But this, but by the same spirit, there is a difference of ministries, but the same Lord. See, we all have different ministries, but everything is all by God and everything that we do. The manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for a profit of all. It benefits all of us for One is given the word of wisdom through the spirit to another, the word of knowledge through the same spirit to the another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing by the same spirit to another, the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning spirits and to another different kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but one and the same spirit work all these things distributing to each one individually as he wills 
many members because we all part of the body. But we all have to realize that we all cannot be the toe. We all cannot be the foot. We all cannot be the mouth or the head. We all have to play our part in playing your part. You have this gift. God has given you a gift. And sometime when it becomes our season, we have to realize that God puts us, puts us in the position where we need to tap into that position. And like I tell people, understand your position despite your condition. Your condition will change, but your position will always say the same. As Christian brothers and sisters, we have to understand and those that are not, I want you to understand that you can become what we are and you can tap in to that superpower and because you ha can have superpowers and be able to do some things and make some changes in your life. See, faith, faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, just like the tree, you don't see that he's that they're sealing up the pores and the holes where the leaves used to be and that's to survive through the storm to survive through the winter but to survive through that season see God gives us everything we need to be able to survive and that faith faith in having hope hope is a feeling of expectation and desire of a certain thing to happen so you expecting something to to happen it's a feeling that you get and that combination of hope and faith takes us into one thing that we have to understand love what, what did I just say I said love God wants us to utilize love let, let me let me let me explain something to you love changes things when you go Going through your season, if you show love, because love changes attitudes, changes us, how we react to certain things, our emotional makeup or how we behave. Love is very important. And, and let's 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 look at love. Let's let's give a definition of love. Let's let's just look at love, because sometimes we find ourselves not understanding. Well, I've been through a whole bunch of stuff this year. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I don't want to hear it anymore. Dr. Hutch, I'm just, I just had it. But listen, listen, love never fails. What? Love never fails. But whether there's prophecy, they will fail. Wherever there's tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish. But folks, let me tell you something. Everything else, if you abide in faith, hope, and don't have love, you have nothing. Love, out of all three of these, love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. It's very important that you love. Why? Because the expression of love changes things, changes the attitude. So if you look for a new career, you got to love what you do. If you love what you do, guess what? Things are going to be better. and You're going to be able to understand that season. And I want you to be able to tap into that. I want you to be able to realize that faith Things that you can't, you walk it by faith. You don't see it. You don't understand it. But God is talking to you. And and, and I'm going to tie this all together. I want you to, to realize tying this together is through prayer. Tying faith, hope, and love. Tying it all together. It keeps everything together. It's prayer. If you're not praying, guess what? You cannot keep faith, hope, and love all in one you have to tie it together with prayer and prayer is very important folks and i want you to be able to do that i want you to be able to to love and understand that god is the one in charge he's the one that's in charge and i want you to believe that you have superpowers
powers, but you have to tap in through Jesus Christ. I'm going to take a break and we'll be right back. You've been listening to the Dr. Hutch Show. Plan for Impact. Sponsored by Christian Crown Ministries. We'll be right back. Hire Dr. Hutch today. Dr. Hutch is committed to assisting entrepreneurs and business owners in developing their business to perform on the next level. If you are a corporation, school, church, or nonprofit organization that would like Dr. Hutch to take your company one step closer to success and impact the lives of your employees and you, please contact us at 216-264-6214 or visit the Dr. Hutch Show. Dot com. That's T H E D R H U T C H S H O W dot com. Welcome back to the Dr. X Show. Those that would like to Twitter us, our Twitter account is D R H U T C H forty. That's Dr. Hutch 40, or you would like to visit our website. Our website is www.drhutchlive.com. That's drhutchlive.com. Let's just go back to the show. Welcome back. Welcome back to Dr. Hutch Show. Hey, I was just talking about tapping in and tying up everything through prayer. And that's very important. And we have to realize that we need to be able to understand that God himself wants us to be successful as believers. He wants us to fulfill the plan that he has for us and God orchestrates things in our life you know some people say well God set me up you know God set you up to put you in the position because he sees everything from the end to the beginning he put you in that position because he wants you to first of all learn how to trust him second he wants you to believe that he's going to do what he says he's going to do God is not a man he's not a liar see God wants you to love him because he first loved you you know and you sew everything together through prayer because prayer is what God faith activates God to move but prayer causes action hope when you look at hope hope is a verb is a noun and a verb hoping hope now gives you an opportunity to act upon see work without faith is nothing you you have to have some works you have to be moving towards something that's why it's important to write your goals down that's why it's important to to pray that's why it's important to, to to ask God for guidance, you know, it's, it's very important when we look at when we search in scripture, we search in scripture for a reason. The reason is for our purpose. God told Jeremiah, I have plans for you, plans not to harm you, but plans for you to succeed and be successful. He said, well, God said plans, plans. That's multiple because God knows you're going to make mistakes. He you know you're going to falter. He you know you're going to make some choices. Like I said at the beginning, we have probably made some choices uh, early this year or a week ago, a month ago, or maybe just today or yesterday where we are regretting those choices that we made. And we're trying to say, hey, God, I made that decision and that decision and that choice has caused Cause me this heartache. Well, God possibly have you going through these things for a reason because he wants to develop you. And so that you'll be able to handle what he has for, in store for you for the future. Uh, let's 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 look at let's let's look at somebody. Let's look at somebody. Let's get an example. Let's look at somebody that actually have had some has had some tough times, but was put in position 
was put into position because God does that's what God does puts us in position so he can use us and um for his for his glory let's look at um Joshua for example you know after the death of Moses you know the servant of the Lord it came to pass that it, at Moses died and Joshua was his assistant you know he was the assistant of Moses. And how would you like to be with millions of people and you are the assistant and you're the young guy? He was about 40 years old at the time. You know, earlier, he was 20 years old. When he was 20 years old, he was um, went over and looked at the land and and spied on the land and did some things. And, and but, but he was under the two and the training and the mentorship of Moses and Moses had died you know he has to have time to grieve you know but the, the, no grieving the, the people they wept they 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 grieved but he actually had to be focused on on what is needed in order to lead and that's important focus on what God had and, and listen to this and um and uh in deuteronomy uh 34 um chapter 9 now joshua the son of nun was full of the spirit of wisdom for moses had led had laid hands on him so the children of israel heeded him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Think about this. He was full with the Holy Spirit. See, when you're doing faith, hope, and love, and praying, and you add the, the, the real serious formula to this, the real ingredient is fasting. When you come into your season, God puts you in a position where you're fasting, where you're listening. Nothing is coming between you and God, but just faith. Where God is just basically saying, here it is. He's, his power, his power utilizing and working through you to get things done, to impact people's lives, to start that that food bank to start that business to put that child in order and that household in order to build that church to build uh missionaries and to, to go to school become a doctor or lawyer god opens the door but being but but tapping into that superpower you have superpowers like uh, joshua filled with the holy spirit of wisdom whoa ain't that one of the gifts ain't that one of the gifts wait a minute the gift of what the gift of wisdom he felt the spirit the same spirit that can give you the gift of tongues that give you the gift of healing the gift of knowledge i have the gift of knowledge you know you know, I, I, I know so much. I know a lot of things, but some things is I don't know. But God, my my specialty and what God has blessed me with is the gift of the law. I know the legal business, the legal profession. That's who I am. That's my that's that's my makeup. And if I don't do anything with that, where is my faith? Where is my hope? The expectation of the desire of certain things happening. God said, okay, if I didn't go to school, what? I wouldn't be an attorney. I would just be somebody that wasted his gift. God gave me a gift of knowledge and put it in a direction so that I can use it. Look at what's his name. Joshua. To lead. To lead. He had to have Wisdom. What did King Solomon ask for? The gift. He asked for wisdom. Because he had to lead. If you're going to lead, God wants to give you wisdom, folks. He wants to give you 
wisdom. And what Moses did, he laid his hands on him. He blessed him. What about Jesus? When Jesus was in, um, was about to go to the cross, what happened? The angels came and ministered to him. So, and what happened? Sometimes we have to. Sometimes we have to listen, folks. Sometimes we have to let people minister to us. Sometimes they may not have all the things or be at the position that we think. God sends people sometimes less than who we are, and God sends people to minister to us. I had some young men minister to me, Lord, and it, and it blessed me because open as an open vessel when God fills you with his Holy Spirit and you have faith is in place. You believing, you understanding, you hoping for the things and the evidence of things that's not seen. You have the hope, the feeling and the expectation and the desire that certain things are going to happen. And then you feel with love, like I said in scripture, love does not fail. What? Love is long suffering. So you have had your leaves have fallen off. Is your season? You're prepared. You're prepared to take on the season and be successful and listen to what God has to say. And what you need to do is you need to pray. You need to pray. You need to continue to pray every day, asking God. To heal you, to help you, but but don't get to the point where your prayer becomes selfish. God wants you to pray for others. Prayer is actually for other people. Pray for people that need your need help, need assistance. God will do what He has to do. And you and, and think about it. I have always known that when I take the focus off myself and put it on others, God turns around and does things for me and he does things for the people folks all I can say is that if you really want to be tapped in to the superpower and be like a superhero whatever you want to be you want to be a superhero hey you know God can you know, there's people out there that that want that would like to take that position, but those that want God to say good and well done, my faithful servant, and returning to Him the love that He first showed us by giving His only begotten Son for us. I understand we may have some financial troubles and have some issues or whatever we may have, maybe down, maybe depressed, you know, maybe separated or from your wife or kids or maybe whatever it may be. God gets the glory and he comes first and with faith, hope, love and prayer. And then you add fasting in there. God gives you that desire. Guess what? Things change. Things change. And I love to hear from you. If you want, you can uh, email me at doc, D-O-C, Hutch at Dr. Hutch International. That's D R H U T C H International dot com. I thank you for joining me this, this evening. And next week we're gonna have something f- great for you to listen to. But I just thank you and remember you have superpowers. Tap into it this week. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dr. Hutch Show. Those that would like to Twitter us, our Twitter account is D-R-H-U-T-C-H-40. That's Dr. Hutch 40. 